ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at our calendar today. So, we are moving right along in this month. What's that month that starts with an O? Ah, ah. October. And there are two days of the week that start with S, and one of them is Sunday, and one Saturday. And Sunday's the first day, and Saturday's the last day. And there are two days that start with the letter T. One is Tuesday, and the other is Thursday. And Thursday has that TH at the beginning. It makes a special sound. It makes that sound. And then there's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, that they don't that don't they don't have a beginning letter. It's the same as anything else. But that Saturday and Sunday can get confusing, and that Tuesday and Thursday can get confusing because you see the beginning sound and you think, oh, well that one must be Saturday. But then if you look really close, it doesn't have an A next. It has U next. So Sunday and. Saturday has an A next. It's that sat. Remember our AT word sat? That's what you see at the beginning of Saturday. You see S A T. Okay? And two, like I said, Tuesday has that T and U at the beginning, but thir thir th Thursday has that T H at the beginning that makes a different sound. So let's see if we can say our days of the week. We're going to start with the one that we always start with, and that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, I, I'm going to look over here and see. I'm going to turn this card over today. That's the next date. All right. And let's look up here. Now, we just talked about those, the beginning of those uh, words. And this one starts with that TH that I just said that makes that th, th, th sound. So which one do you think that would be? Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday today. Now let's count over and see what date it is, what number we're going to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's say the date together today. Today is Thursday, October 8th, 2020. Good job. I've got some equations or number sentences up here again today. And this time I started my equations with the number two. And we'll, we'll have two and we'll add more and see what we get, all right? We're going to start with two and add some more. So, my first number sentence says two rectangles plus, this mark right here is a plus. That means you, you put things together if it's a plus. You're going to put them together, all right? So, two rectangles plus one triangle. So how many would we have all together? Two rectangles and one triangle. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. My next number sentence or equation has two triangles plus, see that sign? Plus, you can put them together, plus two circles. If I have two rectangles and two circles, how many will I have if I put them all together? One, two, three, four. Two plus two equals four. You probably already know that, don't you? My next number sentence says two squares plus, you see that plus sign in the middle? It means add them up, put them together. Two squares plus three rectangles. Ooh, we're getting in the big numbers. Two squares plus three rectangles. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Two plus three equals five. This sign right here, 
these two sideways marks, that means equals. Okay? So if I put these things together, which is what that plus tells me to do, then this is what I get. Here's the result. So that's what equals means. If I do this, then this is what I get. All right. Now I've switched over to numbers here. So my equation says 2 plus 4. So I'm going to put, you try this, put up two fingers on one hand and four fingers on another hand, just like this. Put them up just like this. Two plus four more. Do you have your fingers up? All right. Now, when it says plus, it means put them all together. So we got to count them all together. So I'm going to start counting over here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you count that many? Two and four more equals six all together. Put six up there. Now my next one says two plus five, all right? Now, I know in my mind that on one hand I have five fingers, all right? I don't even need to count to see how many to put up because I know on one hand there are always five fingers, all right? So I just put five up like this because I know there are five there. And then I need to put two up on the other hand because my equation said two plus five, okay? I got two over here and five more over here and I'm going to put them together. Ready? Now watch this. I know that there are five over here because this is my hand and I have five fingers on it. So I can say, I can just say five and then count on. Watch. So instead of counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which seven is the right answer. I will have seven if I add two and five more, but watch. I can just do this. I can say five, because I know there's five already here, and then just count on. Five, six, seven. Hmm. That's a handy trick to learn because it really saves time when you're counting, when you're adding things up. So my next one says two plus six more. All right. So if I have. If I have two rectangles and I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six more shapes. Ooh, that's a lot, isn't it? Okay, two plus six more. But I'm just going to count them all together to get the answer. So I'm going to say one, two, and then count on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two plus six must be eight. All right. Hopefully you can practice some equations at home today. Now I am going to write a sentence and I'm going to use some color words like we had, have done before because you need to start looking at those color words and recognizing them and see what, how, how they look in, so that whenever you see one of them, you say, oh, that's pink. Oh, that's blue, all right? So <clears throat> my sentence today is, I have a red and blue shirt. Mm. Oh, look, I made an equation with how many words I'm gonna write. <laughs> And my equation is how many fingers? Five plus two. <laughs> so I can say five, six, seven. Okay. So I need seven words for my thought today. Seven. And it starts with I, and I'm talking about me. And if I wrote Miss Morrissey down, I would use capital letters. If you wrote your name down, you would use capital letters on your name. So when we say I, we always use a capital I. And it's at the beginning of a sentence, so we're going to say I in a capital letter. And then I'm going to leave a space. I, that second word was have. I have. And we'll put my
my fingers down <clears throat> and I'm going to think what does have start with? It's that breath sound. Mm -hmm. H. It takes four letters to write the word have. It takes H, A, B, and E. Four letters to write that word. It only took one letter to write the word I, right? So I have, <clears throat> go put my fingers down. Now the next word is an, just a single letter again, A. So I have a, and then I said, <clears throat> here's, here's coming up a color word. I'm going to put it up here and you tell me what it is. Mm -hmm. R E D spells red. I have a red. I'm, I'm going to track because there's a lot of words to keep track of in this sentence and I don't want to miss any. So let's go back and see. I have a red. Okay, I've got four. I've got three words left. The next word is and. I have a red. I'm going to leave a space. And. Here's my next color word. You tell me what it says. B L U E blue. I have a red and blue. And I said shirt. I hear that shh. Like if you tell someone to shh. What letter makes shh? Well, it's not just one letter, it's two letters together that make that shh sound. And it's these two letters S and H. When you put SH together, it makes that shh sound. All right, now I'm going to check because I had seven words to write. So let's see if I got them all. I have a red and blue shirt. So five plus two more, is that seven? Five, six, seven. Mm, good. I'm done with my thought. I have all seven words, so I'm going to put a nice little stop sign right there, a nice little period to say, in. All right, let's see if you can read my sentence. I have a red and blue shirt. Good job. Use your color words today.